Hi everyone, welcome back to Analytics Tales. This is Reza. In this video, we learn about interactive power charts and how to create them in Excel and to interpret them. You can see by clicking on these buttons called slices, the chart updates automatically. Power charts are used to represent data visually in a circular format with each slice of the pie representing a proportion part of the data. They are commonly used to show how a single data set is composed on different categories or parts. Pie charts can be useful when you want to communicate the relative sizes uh, or proportions of different categories or parts of a whole in a simple and easy to understand format. They can be particularly effective uh, when the differences in proportions are large and easy to distinguish. In our example, full-time employees are much larger proportion compared to other groups. The first thing you want to do is open up Excel and load your workbook. Here, we have a data set including a survey of 200 employees in Australia about their favorite drinks, their work status, their state, and their annual income. Now we can create our interactive pie chart. To do this, we need to follow a few simple steps. Select the whole data set, Command A or Control A, click on Insert and insert a pivot table. You can ask Excel to create it in a new worksheet. You can name the worksheet whatever you want. For example, here I name it Interactive and leave it as is. So we have our pivot table. You can name it a name, for example, interactive pie chart. So later on, we can easily find our pivot table. Then you can go to your pivot table, drag and drop work status into rows, and again, work status into values. You can see the table shows that out of all employees, 100 of them work full-time, 53 work part-time, and 47 work session. Let me zoom in. Something else that you can do is drag and drop work status again to the values, and then right-click on one of the values, and show values as percentage of grand total. Now you can see that, for example, 26.5% of employees are part-time employees. Now we have our pivot table. We can easily make a pivot chart. Select the data, click on insert, and select the first 2D pie chart. Now we have our first graph. Let's make it more readable, make a few changes and format it. I like to change the design to this format. I like it more. At the moment, I do not want the legend. I delete it. I edit the title work status of employees. I change all of the text into black. Something else that I like to do is change the color format to this color scheme, color palette. I like these colors more. And then we can add a few elements into our chart, right? Uh, click on add chart element. We ask for data labels. I ask Excel to put them outside into in shape of kind of a color. It says that full-time employees, 50%, session of staff, 24%, and so on. You can double click on one of them, 
go to format data label and then in the label options you can say i want category name which is good we know full-time sessional part-time you can add values say full-time employees 150 percent and percentages so we have all the necessary information we can ask excel to put them in the center inside outside or best fit so let's leave them outside something else that you can do is change the font and make it a bit larger so everyone can read it easily uh, something else that you can do is double click and put a border for the whole chart so now you put a border for it solid color let's make it dark green now we have our chart to make it interactive we need to add one or a few slices in our example i am going to add one slicer click on your pivot table click on pivot table analysis and insert a slicer you can add one two or as many slices as you like i just keep one tick states and we add a slicer about the states that people are residing so you can select it change the format to a color you like you can change font you change format or every element of these slicers now you can see that by clicking on these buttons inside the slices the chart updates automatically and it provides uh, new insights into your data so you have it you have just created an interactive pie chart using slicers and pivot tables in excel with a little bit of practice you will be able to create all so uh, sorts of interactive charts that will help you visualize your data in new and exciting ways so here are a few tips to interpret a class uh, to interpret a pie chart uh, pie charts can provide valuable insights into your data set in a very simple, easy to understand format. Before interpreting chart, make sure that you understand what it represents. It represents work status of employees. Uh, you can play with the slices and compare and contrast different groups. For example, when we have all employees, we can see that 50% of them are working full time. If you go to Queensland, you can see 72% of uh, them are full time employees. While in New South Wales, only 29% of them work full time. You can compare and contrast and see what's going on. By doing so, uh, you can identify any key insights or observation that can inform decision making or further analysis. That is all about pie charts. Thanks for watching and don't forget to come back for more Excel tutorials. Thank you.